Hello again. Um, I have another example uh, that I want to use the IC method to solve for angular speed of this connecting rod BD and also velocity of the kind of like the piston or a slider. This is what we call a crank slider mechanism. So the crank is AB and the slider is D. And BD is known as the connecting rod. Uh, so here AB is in pure rotation about A and BD is the one that is going through combination of motion, combination of translation and rotation. So what's given at this instant, um, we are told that omega AB is 3 radians per second. So the crank is rotating at 3 radians per second counterclockwise about the axis through point A. And what we want to determine, we want to find... Um, angular speed of the connecting rod omega bd at this instant and also velocity of the slider velocity of d so this is a very typical example of the crank slider mechanism and we want to as i said we want to use the ic method so how do we go about doing this so first of all we have to understand that we can locate our objective is to locate the instantaneous center for the rigid body that is going through combination motion meaning translation and rotation and that would be the connecting rod link BD. So, in general, in order to find the instantaneous center of a rigid body in motion, in general plane motion, we need velocity of two points. So, we have velocity of B, which can be determined easily by having the information about the connecting, uh, about the, uh, the crank. So, velocity of B must be 90 degrees to the, um, this crank and it's got to be equal to let me write it down velocity of b is r omega now the radius of the crank or the length of the crank is 0.5 and omega as you could see is given to be 3 radians per second so that becomes 1.5 meters per second so we're going to use this in a minute now we also know that d has no choice at this instant but move horizontally to the left because it's confined to move within that cylinder so now if you have velocity of two points at this instant all you have to do is to draw perpendicular lines to the two velocities that's due at those two points so perpendicular to velocity of b would be actually the extension of link a b at 45 degrees as you could see and perpendicular to velocity of d would be this guy so 90 degrees right and then the point of intersection becomes the instantaneous center. And as I've shown in the past, uh, you could think as if link BD is like a triangular plate extended like that. And at this instant, it's rotating about uh, the axis through C. So it's rotating clearly clockwise with some omega BD, which we're trying to determine. Okay, now we need to just determine these dimensions. Now, since this angle here is 45 degrees, then this becomes the B, D, C is an isosceles triangle. So if B, D is 1.5, this should be 1.5. And then the rise is 1.5, the run is 1.5. So the hypotenuse should be about 2.12. Square root of 1.5 is squared plus 1.5 is squared. Okay, now we are ready to finish up the problem. So now we say, okay, if we were going to find velocity of B using the instantaneous center, what would be velocity of B? Now, knowing that we already know what velocity of B is, is 1.5 down here. Okay, so velocity of B would be what? Would be R omega. R is what? R is from C to B, from the instantaneous center to point B, times omega of the linkage, omega BD or omega of the triangle, you know, this imaginary triangle. Therefore, omega BD would be velocity of B divided by CB. Since we've already determined what CB is, omega BD is going to be 1.5 divided by, we said about 2.12, so omega BD becomes about 0.707 radians per second, and you could see clearly that guy is rotating uh, clockwise. So now at this instant, we can go ahead and now find velocity of any point since we know omega. 
and we know where the instantaneous center is so now velocity of d would be what would be again r omega r is defined from c to d right so it would be c d times omega d d right so c d is uh, 1.5 and omega bd we just determined to be 0 0.707 so velocity of d is going to be about 1.06 meters per second and as you could see the motion of d is confined to be within that cylinder and that makes it to the left and horizontal thank you